everyone welcome back to another part of our ai 102 question series so without any further delay let's get start so we are already done till question number 90 and we are going to achieve question number 100 in this video so let's start with the question number 91 you built a chatbot by using open ai studio perfect you need to ensure that the response are more deterministic and less creative so you you have already heard these keywords right basically we have to reduce the randomness which two parameters should you configure okay so here are all the parameters given and we already know from our previous conversation that temperature and top p is going to be which can control the randomness in a different manner we already discuss it uh, so max response we already know like uh, it is to set a limit on the numbers of tokens per uh, like per model response temperature we utilize to control the rep uh, randomness basically control how creative or repetitive your responses can be lower the temperature makes it more predictable and consistent and higher make it more creative and imaginative okay similarly for the top p as well top p means uh, top priority uh, sorry top probability which controls the randomness similar to like temperature but uses a different method means like uh, when you lower the top it narrows the model token selection to get the likelier token i already explained this uh, in the previous video so you can check that out uh, it will be very easy for you to understand i explain both of these with an uh, ice cream example so it will be very easy for you to understand okay and always remember that you should try to adjust temperature or top but not the both okay so this is very important so next is stop sequence so it basically helps you to define specific points where your model should stop generating the text next is frequency uh, penalty we already discussed this was in like a specific question was there on the frequency penalty which help us to reduce the chances of model repeating the same word or same phrases uh, in its response okay and uh, same for the presence penalty it also reduces the chance of repeating any token that has appeared in the text at all so far okay here it is uh, using like uh, repeating any token and there it is reducing like new words or phrases okay so this will basically help us to uh, like uh, introducing any new topic in your response okay so temperature and top p basically is going to be answer let's select it so yeah this is absolutely correct so let's move to the next question you have an azure subscription that contains an azure open ai resource you configure a model that has the following settings okay what is temperature is one that means it is going to be uh, like highly imaginative and more and more uh, creative in it uh, response top probability is, is in middle 0.5 and max response token is equal to 100 okay so you ask model a question and you receive the following response okay so here is the like uh, basically the main message when you ask something uh, the question it received this response so i guess the question would be who are the founders of microsoft something like this so we receive a response like this here and uh, what is the finish region so this is also important like here it is says stop so if it is stop that means it is stopped naturally like uh, there is no interruption like uh, the question has been fully satisfied your answer has been fully given by the chat gpt and uh, it has been stopped naturally okay that it means and it has been created and this is going to be first choice okay so uh, your chat gpt or uh, like any open uh, like model open ai model can give multiple response also so it has currently given only one um one answer so that's why it adds the index zero so you can get sometime if you like sometime if you work with the chat gpt you see like there will be two response given and it will be asked okay which one is more accurate to you okay then you choose it so like it will be at the index one uh, index two so there can be multiple uh, answers based on like what you have selected so here is the created time stamp as uh, yes, like uh, id what model you have utilized what particular version of 35 turbo and uh, chat completion model is there so here is the usage given so then first is completion token completion token means what uh, tokens it has utilized to uh, get the response okay and uh, here prompt token is what response it taken to when it provided the input 
and total it makes the total token so which you can see here so which statement is true the subscription will be charged 86 token for the execution of the session so will this be correct i don't think so because 86 it is taking from the completion token only and we will get charged not only based on the completion token but also on the prompt tokens that means we will be charged based on the total tokens okay which is 123 tokens so we are not going to charge just only for the 86 token as we are going to charge for 123 including whatever input we have given not only based on the model response okay so this is absolutely correct so statement one is not going to be my true uh, statement next is the text completion was truncated means it has got cancelled because the max response token value was exceeded okay so as you can see text completion token is 86 and the max uh, response is 100 and also the finish reason is naturally stopped so there there are two indicators for this answer so this statement is also not true so here both the statements are not correct so that is means none of the above is going to be my answer so let's see it so yes none of the above is the correct answer for this so let's move to the next question you have an azure subscription the subscription contain an azure open ai resource that hosts a gpt4 model so this is the latest question all the questions which are doing either of the like uh, open ai resources or uh, document intelligence they are all the latest coming in the 2024 examination uh, in the recent month even if you like check out the comments or go to my linkedin profile you see like several people have uh, ensured that uh, yes these case study questions are coming to us these open ai questions are coming to us these uh, document intelligence questions are coming to us okay the subscription contain an azure open ai resource hosted gpt4 model named model one and app name app one app one uses okay model one you need to ensure that app one will not return answer that include hate speech okay basically we have to do filtering here what should you configure for model one okay so we already know what does frequency penalty does it uh, just ensure that uh, your uh, new uh, like same word is not got repeated again and again so which is not we want we want to make sure that it will not return any hate speech okay so like if you look at all these uh, options so maybe two options you will get confused abuse monitoring and content filtering temperature we already discussed about it so abuse monitoring uh, can track and report instances of inappropriate content but it does not prevent head speech from in generated in the first place okay and we want our model to not return answer so we don't want to generate the hate speech at all okay abuse monitoring can track it and just report uh, the content but it cannot stop uh, it from generating here the content filter will come into the picture which is specifically designed to screen and filter out response which will include hate speech and it will ensure that your answer generated by model one does not contain any harmful or inappropriate content okay so this is going to be my answer so it's absolutely correct next is you have an azure subscription uh, it contains an open ai resource that hosts the 3.5 turbo model model one you configure model one to use the system message okay you are an ai assistant that helps solve um, mathematic puzzle explain your answer as if it is requested by four year old what type of prompt engineering is this an example of okay so basically you are giving a system message uh, that uh, to your ai model you have to explain mathematic puzzles like it is asked by an four year old kid okay so how you are going to deal with this so best thing is like priming okay uh, why so let me explain you each about these prompt engineering techniques so first is few short learning so few short learning refers to providing a few example within the prompt so it will help the model learn how to respond uh, which is not the case required here right we are not giving an example okay this is how you have to respond we are just telling it you have to respond like you are the request is by a four year old okay so this is not going to be my answer next is affordance so affordance typically relates to the properties of an object which suggests how it can be used okay 
and uh, it is not a term commonly used in the like context of prompt engineering especially for the language models so it is not going to be my answer next is chain of thought which might confuse you who have like know what is chain of thought which uh, we already discussed in some of the previous videos that it refers to model where a model is encouraged to break down your answers into several step and uh, explain you in steps okay so here like uh, while explaining answers uh, like if you explain it to a four year old you might want to break down your answer into like steps but it is not the primary technique to a explain everything yeah like even if you break it down suppose there are two plus two you break it down okay here we are adding two with two it does not explain anything i have to explain it like it should be understood by a four year old which is uh, the perfect case for priming which is basically involves uh, setting the context for the model by providing specific instruction or cues in our case we are providing this system messages okay so that's why priming is the perfect uh, prompt engineering technique for us and it will influence the type of response the model will generate and uh, you can see here it is uh, utilized in the example because it involves setting up the context and the role of the model uh, explicitly in this uh, system message which we are providing here okay so and uh, so this will help us to like model to respond just like the requester is a four year old okay basically we are uh, prime the model for the conversation so it the model will know what is the expected behavior and persona it needs to carry throughout taking on the dialogue okay so priming is definitely my answer so yes this is correct next is you build a chatbot that uses the open ai gpt 3.5 model you need to improve the quality of the response okay the solution must minimize development effort what are the two ways to achieve the goal okay so here it is asking two ways to improve the quality of the response okay here you need to remember this keyword quality they are asking first thing fine tune the model so yes fine tune can uh, like improve your response quality definitely for sure but it will not sufficient and uh, this second condition which is to minimize the development effort so uh, because fine tuning requires uh, like more effort so this is not going to be my answer second is provide grounding content okay so this will ensure that your model response are anchored in accurate relevant information improve response quality without extensive development work you just have to provide the grounding content and it uh, will um, like really help us to give accurate and relevant information in the responses so this is definitely going to be included in my answer okay so but they are asking for the two ways so let's see what is the other option add sample request and response pair so what it does it uh, basically when you add sample requests and pairs it helps the model understand what is going to be the expected interaction which will enhance response quality okay without uh, taking too much of development effort so this is definitely going to be my answer next is retrain the language model by using your own data so you can see like utilizing your own data and retaining it it will require a lot of uh, if development effort so that is definitely not going to my answer and another one is i train a custom large language model so again it is a very resource intensive task which require extensive development work not aligning with the goal which we want here okay so these two will going to be my answer this is correct you have an azure subscription that contain open ai resource named ai1 you plan to build an app named f1 that will write press releases by using ai1 okay you need to deploy and model for f1 must minimize the development effort which three actions should you perform in sequence in open ai studio one okay so here we have to take care of the sequence as well first is utilizing this uh, text embedding ada0 Zero two model and the other two are utilizing uh, GPT 3.5 turbo models. Okay, and here we have to write the press release. So definitely we have to utilize the 35 turbo models because text embedding is not going to help me and uh, because it will return the numeric vector which uh, is not the case here. So definitely B A B and C is going to be my answer either one of them. So 
next is apply the default system message template and here it is asking apply the marketing writing assistant system message template okay so when you apply the marketing writing assistant basically this template is specifically tailored for the model responses to the like specific needs of uh, marketing and writing task which is the requirement here like uh, we have to write the press releases okay which basically aligns to uh, our goal so definitely i'm going to choose the uh, like marketing writing assistant system messages and uh, like applying the default system message we can do the task from it but it is not specifically tailored for like writing tasks like here uh, with our goal of re writing press releases which making it less optimal for our solution so this is definitely going to be my answer so yes this is correct you have an azure subscription that contain uh, azure open ai resource named ai1 you plan to develop a console app that will answer user question you need to call ai1 okay our resource and output the result to the console how should you complete blank one of the code okay so here we have to output the result to the console so here it is our prompt and uh, we have set up the api key for open open ai resource endpoint for our open ai resource and here we are providing our deployment name so what should come here in the response and uh, what should we have to print we have already told that we have to print the result to the console okay so here result will come uh, definitely which is coming in the part of a response and we have to just break it down to its property so we will see it so first uh, basically what should come here so option says chat completion dot create embedding dot create image dot create so here basically we are asking a prompt it's a text question so definitely our answer is going to be chat completion because we don't want the numeric vector or neither we want to utilize any image here so this is absolutely correct next is here it is asking for the blank to yes the question is same and it is asking for the blank to so what should come here okay it's response dot choices dot zero dot text or response dot id or response dot text so it is going to be uh, like uh, response dot choices uh, the first index dot text okay because it can generate multiple uh, choices as well as i told in that answer as well like it will just take the first index first response from it and just give you it okay so this is going to be our correct answer so let's check it yeah, yeah this is correct next is you have an azure subscription so like you can see how many code question and command question are coming nowadays specifically on the open ai side and the documentary intelligence and make sure you uh, go through our case study question because those case questions are coming like frequently nowadays i have seen people are commenting that uh, i also got the same case study and many people got the exactly same case study so it will give you a totally free marks there okay so you need to create a new resource that will generate fictional stories in response to user prompt okay so we want to generate fictional stories here the solution must ensure that the resource uses a customer managed key to protect data how should you complete the blank one of the script okay so here is our command of the script basically an azure cli command and we are utilizing cognitive services so what should come here in the blank one okay so what kind of uh, resource we are utilizing so basically as you can see we are to utilize we are to generate the fictional stories so here we are going to utilize the open ai resource okay so this is like a very clear question right in the kind we have to specify the type of cognitive service account uh, you want to utilize so here we want to utilize the open ai and so this is will be perfect to generate our fictional stories which involves like a natural language processing and generation so yes this will be very helpful and we are going to utilize gpt models for generating text so this is absolutely correct so next it is asking for the blank too so what should come here so uh, we can see all the three option api properties assign identity and encryption so let's discuss all of them one by one so first is api properties so this parameter will help us to set the properties of the whatever api you are utilizing let's just like here for the azure cognitive services so just like here we can see it is specifying uh like the key source of the key vault okay here it is the like key name and the secret version so all the details are here so basically uh, this is necessary when you want to utilize a customer managed key which is in our case okay 
so like the, the api properties we have to specify so this is absolutely correct so now we already know what is going to be answer but let's discuss what others to also can do like assign identity and encryption so this parameter is used to assign a managed identity to the resource and most important you already seen there is a assign identity and encryption as well okay so we have already provide the uh, like uh, all these information so definitely these cannot become here so this is like a very common sense questions as well and although uh, like encryption it is used to specify the encryption setting like what would be the key source which we have specified here so definitely api uh, properties is going to be my answer so yeah this is absolutely correct so that's all in this video see you guys in the next video but make sure you comment below and let me know you are following the series see you guys in the next one